Crowder and I want to welcome you back to Newmar's campus today. So I'm excited to show you our 2022 Baystar 3014. This floor plan is actually one of our most popular floor plans in our gas motor homes. So featured today again is our Baystar 3014. This coach is actually going to be great for our families, our first time RVers, or anyone that's part time and hasn't fully transitioned to that full time mode yet. So a couple of highlights here in the front cap is our windshield is going to be bonded. So that's going to be like an automobile kind of fill. So our competitors sometimes will have this um, gap here, but our windshields are going to be bonded. You're going to see our chrome logos on here. And making our way to the door side of this Baystar 3014, I'm going to go ahead and point out a couple of cool features. So first and foremost is you're going to see this number here, the 3014, which I am discussing. So those first numbers, the 30 is going to be the length of the coach. It's going to be 30 feet and 14 is going to be the actual floor plan. Opening up the front door here, we open that up. You're actually going to have a screen door here. So um, if you're outside or inside and you kind of just want that fresh breeze, maybe you're in Arizona, it's nice out. Keep this open and it'll keep all the bugs out. You can also slide this up and over. And again, that just prevents any flies or anything from getting inside. Along here, you also see an assist handle. So as you're walking up, um, there's no room for air to, you know, maybe trip over yourself. I would probably do that, um, but that assist handle is just here to help. Focusing on our tires, so you're going to have the stainless steel front plate. They're going to be our 22 and a half inch tires. So that's actually going to be the tires that you see on our entry level diesels. So that's just actually going to be a step up from most gas coaches. As we look at the exterior here, you're going to see our optioned in urban graphics. So for the base star, you're going to have three options available to you that you can choose from. So you're going to have the gable, the rider, or the urban. And what's featured here is going to be our urban graphics. You're going to see that really pretty gold, that silver, some white, and some black. That's just going to look really slick going down the road, and it's going to be very eye-catching. Along with that, we're going to go ahead and open up some of our bays here and take a look inside. So open up the first bay here. I mean, you're not going to have much room. Let's just be honest. Um, you're going to have a little bit of features here. You're going to have your wiring. But over here on this sidewall is going to be that um, bat foam insulation. Here in bay two, this is where you're going to see most of your storage. So you're going to have a nice open bay here, plenty of room. Um, you can even put some stuff up on top if needed. And then over here, you're going to have some control panels. But you're also going to have four... Um, 110V outlets. And then as we walk down the coach, again, you're going to see our base star here, and then you're going to see your side markers here as well. And what you're going to see behind me real quick is going to be our partial slide out. So this coach comes with one partial slide out and one full slide out. That full slide out is going to be on the opposite side, which we'll point out later on. Bay three here. This is where our 5.5 um, Cummins Onion generator is going to be featured. And rounding out the last of the bays on the door side, you're going to have a massive bay, a ton of storage. This little compartment here on the door side is going to be where our optioned in Truma Comfort Plus is. So we're going to go ahead and open this up for you so you can take a look inside. So it just unlocks and locks. But basically what this looks like and does is our Truma Comfort Plus allows you to regulate your um, water temperature a little bit better and it also prevents you um, from having water that could be potentially scalding to you. Along with that is it pumps more heated liters throughout the coach than what your standard um, water heating system could do. And remaining focused here on the door side, I want to go ahead and point our, our standard awning package for the Base Star 3014. So what you're going to see behind me is going to be our carefree awning package and those are going to come out and then what they're also going to have is going to be this Alumaguard which protects, protects you from the sun's UV rays and then also if you are going down the road or if you're under a campsite and you see the trees coming down or their brushes, it prevents and just kind of helps protect it a little bit more. As we round out the rear of the coach here, I want to go ahead and point out a couple of features here. So first and foremost, you're going to see our Numar badge plate. That's going to be one of our feature chrome plates around the coach. You're also going to have your base start in the back here. You're going to have your tow hitch underneath. Up top, you're going to have your rear view camera. Along with that, you're going to see a large bedroom window, which is really nice. Uh, maybe you're taking a nap, have a beautiful view of the Arizona mountains. That's a nice feature to have back there. And then something that you can option in, it doesn't come standard with the coach, but it's going to be a rear ladder. So if for whatever reason you need roof access 
or you kind of just like to climb things like myself, you can go ahead and option that in. Moving to the off door site here, we're gonna go ahead and open up our last bay real quick. So what you're gonna see here is going to be our 50 amp cord here. So this is what you're gonna use to plug into your campsite. And the reason I wanna point this out is you're gonna see these little rubber markers here. So if you're at the campsite and you can pull this in and out, but if you lock that into place, you're actually able to go ahead and shut the bay while it's plugged in and you're using it. And that just takes away any kind of um, unnecessary openness or you know, wasting your battery. Over here, you're gonna have your gas fuel tank. We'll open up this bay and you're gonna have just another large bay here for storage. You're gonna have LED lights that come on when you open it. Another side north bay, you're gonna have your water work system. So featured here, you're gonna have your um, fresh water city connection, your black tank sewage rinse, a fresh water tank fill and valve that you can turn on and off. You're gonna have an outside shower. So if you've been hiking all day, you can go ahead and rinse off out here. And that way you're not taking that dirt and grime inside with you. And then right above it, you're gonna have your left side marker bay three so you're just going to have again you're going to have a little bit of space over here some storage on that side um, what this tube means is when you see that pink that means that this coach has been winterized bay two you're going to go ahead and have your house batteries here and rounding out our base here in bay one you're just going to have your lp tank and I want to go ahead and mention that you're going to have your beat foam sidewalls as well. And then real quick, I want to go ahead and point out, again, you're going to have your stainless steel wheels. You're going to have an opening driver's side window. You're going to have your side mirrors here. And then you're going to have your side view cameras down below. Making our way to the interior of our Base Star 3014, I want to go ahead and point out a few things first. So what you're going to see featured here is going to be our urban decor package it's going to match that urban graphics outside along with that our furniture is going to be williamsburg furniture which is made here in napanee which is close to home in that newmar along with that you're going to see our um, tile flooring here so what comes standard in our base star is actually going to be vinyl tile but they chose to option in just the tile and that option also extends all the way to the bedroom as well for them our cabinets are going to be our arctic uh, maple glazed matte finish cabinets. So it's gonna give that nice light look to offset kind of that dark gray in the dark exterior. I'm gonna go ahead and focus on the cockpit here. So come on and follow me. So up front here, you're gonna see our two-tone dash with our carbon fiber accent. It's that really pretty gray and black look along with that carbon fiber. It kind of blends the two together. Along with that, you're gonna have your radio and menu up here as well. You can also option in the um, 6.5 Xsite monitor, which comes with our Nav and Go navigation system. So what that does for you is it takes away the Rand McNally as last year. And basically what you can do is you can manually input your base star coach's dimensions and it'll give you the best route or safest route depending on what you like to do and maybe what you like to avoid as well. Along with that is it's automatically gonna op um, update. So it's gonna be through the cloud. So with the Rand McNally, there was an SD card that you had to put in and out to um, get those updates. With the Nav and Go navigation system, it's going to just be from the cloud. All updates are going to be automatic, so you're not going to have to worry about it. You can go ahead and option in a 32-inch Samsung TV up front if you choose to. Otherwise, this is going to be cabinetry. Behind me, you are going to see two full cabinets. So we're going to open up, have ample storage space. And then the reason I'm kind of tucked back in here is I want to show you our passenger workstation here. So what you're going to see is you're going to have a cup holder here and then you're going to have a workstation table. So that's going to come up and then this is going to be able to come out in front of you and you're going to have a place to work. You're also going to have a light that turns on or off up top. And then you're also going to have um, two USB outlets and also 110V outlets on the side of you right here. So like I said, if you're working, you need to hook up your laptop or anything, you're going to have a table and the charging station right next to you. And moving our way here to the driver's side, again, you're gonna have this cabinet up front here. So you're gonna have ample space. Underneath, you're gonna go ahead and have your dash up front here. And then you're also gonna have two USB ports over here to your left-hand side, along with a cup holder, which is super convenient for the driver if you need to plug in your phone or anything. 
Along with that, you're gonna go ahead and see our smart leveling hydraulic system, which is compatible with your smartphone, whether that be Apple or Android. So you can control that outside if you're on your phone or anything like that, which is super nice. Up here, you're gonna see a couple of stickers. So throughout our base star, you're gonna have our JBL premium audio system. So underneath your upper cabinets over here, you're gonna have two speakers, and then you're also gonna have um, an option in Bose soundbar back here, which we'll point out later. Along with that, you're gonna have your owner support. So every time you own a Numar, you're gonna get a brand specialist. So if you're on the road, whether that be 2 a.m. or 2 in the afternoon, you can go ahead and call that number and someone's gonna be there to help you, whether that's with any um, service questions, technical issues, they're just there to help. And as you saw me maneuver around here, what you're gonna notice is this massive table here in the middle. This doesn't come standard, but it's an option. It's gonna be our folding cockpit table. And I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate how to open that up and set it up for you. So underneath here, there's gonna be a little lever that has a open arrow. So you're gonna simply push that. This is gonna come out. That's gonna come up. And then you're gonna fold it. And then it's gonna come up for you. And it's gonna open up. So now you have a massive table and your chairs can turn around so you can actually sit comfortably and enjoy a meal here. If you have extra guests or space, you know, people are taking up the sofa, the dinette, and then you and your um, passenger here can enjoy this table. And I'm gonna go ahead and close it for you. So this is gonna fold up the top first. It's gonna fold back down. Push this down. And then you're gonna go back to that same lever and you're just gonna push that in and that'll lock in place for you. And then right here on your door side, I wanna go ahead and point out this top cabinet above your entry door. So um, although you can't see, I'm gonna go ahead and just describe it to you. So this is gonna become very familiar with you because it's gonna have a lot of controls that you're gonna use throughout the coach. So up here, you're gonna have your tank heat pads on and off, your awning control. You're gonna have your full walled slide out here. You're also gonna have your steps, some awning lights, your Truma AquaGo. You're gonna have your battery disconnect and then just a few of other things like your power control system. So just become very familiar with this and kind of play with it when you get your Numar. Over here, you're gonna have a couple of control things. So you're gonna have your patio over here buttons and you're also gonna have a light that turns on and off above your dinette. And moving our way into your dinette area here. So what you're gonna see is you're gonna have um, ample space to sit two to four people comfortably. Above here, you're gonna have a massive window. You're gonna have some um, venting windows underneath. On your right hand side, you're gonna have two 110 via outlets. You're also gonna have ample storage up top with plenty of cabinets. And then this booth is actually gonna be a sleeper booth. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate how that works for you. So if you have kiddos or if you have any extra guests that maybe need extra sleeping space, you can go ahead and utilize this. So underneath there's gonna be a little lever that you're gonna to turn to your left. That's gonna unlock this table and allow you to push it down. But first you're gonna go ahead and have to move these off. As you move those off, you're gonna be able to push down this table. So that's gonna fold down. You can go ahead and put these back up. And now that your table's down, you have your two main cushions back in. You're gonna take your middle piece, which is gonna be um, back in your bedroom for you. You're gonna have this in the middle here. Basically just shove that down and now you're going to have your sleeper and you can go ahead and sit or lay comfortably on it. And rounding out our dinette here, I want to go ahead and point out that there's actual storage underneath these as well. So on both sides, you're going to have a handle here and you can pull this out. You're going to see a seatbelt underneath, but on both sides, you're going to have storage that goes pretty much the length of the dinette as well. So it just provides a little bit of extra space and storage underneath. To the right of it, you're gonna have an open cabinet. You're gonna have some drawers that pull in and out. 
And then above here, you're gonna have a 43 inch TV along with the option in Bose soundbar. And moving to the opposite side here, you're gonna go ahead and have a Williamsburg sleeper sofa. So before I go ahead and demonstrate how that comes out, I wanna go ahead and point out that you're gonna have lights and accent lights over here as well. You're gonna have two 110V outlets. You're also gonna have um, windows on your back wall here that open up along with your side window here. And then again, you're just gonna have that ample cabinet space up top. And again, these are gonna be our chosen Arctic Maple Glazed. And then I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate this, so just kind of bear with me. But the nice thing is, this is actually gonna be all connected and it's gonna be Velcro. So it's just gonna be really nice to open up. You can fold that in and then just carry it over here to your dinette. So now that your cushions are off, you're just gonna go ahead and open this up. So this is gonna pop up. There's gonna be a nice handle right here underneath. This is gonna come up and out. And I'm gonna go ahead and move out of the way real quick, but you'll see that these bars are gonna come out. So make sure that's down. Perfect. And then this will come down and this will create a nice sleeper for you. Making our way into the kitchen here, which is where you're gonna be spending probably a lot of your time on the road. You're gonna go ahead and open up this first cabinet here and that's gonna be where your trash can is. You're also gonna have just ample storage all throughout. A little one, you're gonna have storage underneath. You're gonna have a couple of drawers. And then something within our kitchen is gonna be soft closed drawers. So you can go ahead and close it. And it's just gonna catch itself as well. There you go. <clears throat> Up top, you're gonna have more cabinets just more storage space. And this middle one here, you're gonna have one single 110V outlet. You're gonna have a stainless steel double sink. So right here, you're gonna see that you have a flush um, covering. So you can pull that out, use both, put it back. And then you're also gonna have another piece that's actually gonna be down here in one of the drawers as well. Underneath here, you're gonna have your light switch. And then you're gonna have um, two 110V outlets over here as well to the left side. Optioned in is going to be a 30 inch convection microwave. This doesn't come standard, but you can option that in. Go ahead and open it up for you. You can take a look in there. Underneath, you're gonna have a Suburban Elite three series burner. So that's just gonna fold up and you're gonna have that. You can fold that back down for ample counter space. You're gonna have your solid surface countertops and then you're gonna have your really pretty grouted backslash back here, which kind of gives that nice, really homey touch. And something I wanna talk about real quick is a couple of fun features that we do here at Numar that we pride ourselves on. So here in-house, we actually do all of our grouting. So we don't outsource that anywhere. So that's gonna be handmade by all of our guys in production. And then along with our cabinets, you're gonna see that these are screwed and glued, so they're not gonna be stapled, they're not gonna have that cheap look. And then you can go ahead and tug on them, move them around, and they're not gonna fall off on you. If you go into competitors, you'll see that some of them are stapled. A little less durability, um, especially if you are full-time, um, you're gonna want that to be a little bit more secure as you're going down the road. And then we're, go ahead. And rounding out the kitchen here, you're gonna have your option in Whirlpool fridge with an ice maker up top. So what comes standard is actually gonna be a Norcold fridge, but they went ahead and optioned this in. So you're gonna have the lock and unlock. So you can go ahead and just move this over and on. That opens it up. And then you have that ice maker up top. You're gonna have ample storage and space, some shelving and a nice big drawer for any fruits or veggies or meat. And then over to the left, you're gonna have a pantry. So you're gonna have about four different shelves and that's pretty deep and wide. So you can go ahead and fit a ton of stuff down there along with the very bottom. And then directly across from your kitchen is gonna be your midship bath. So what's nice is you're gonna have a pocket door so this is gonna come out and open up. But the convenience of this is actually gonna be when you're driving down the road, you don't have anything that opens up so you have access to the bathroom. I'm gonna go ahead and step into the shower so we kind of get a full view of the bathroom here. But let's focus on our vanity. So you're gonna have that solid surface. You're gonna have a stainless steel sink. You're gonna have your medicine cabinet up top. Storage over to your right hand side. 
You're gonna have a towel ring. You're also gonna have two 110V outlets along with your commode. And then again, just tons of ample storage underneath. Your toilet paper ring. And then you're also gonna have a bug me in the shower. You're gonna have a really pretty skylight. So if you're a little bit taller of a person, this gives you an additional, you know, six to eight inches of headroom. Our shower is gonna be made of fiberglass. You're gonna have plenty of places to put your shampoo and you're gonna go ahead and have a um, retractable shower head as well to use along with the sliding glass doors. And we're gonna go ahead and round out our coach ending in the master bedroom here. So I'm gonna go ahead and point out again, another pocket door. So if you're going down the road and you need access back here, you can go ahead and open this up. Maybe you wanna take a nap or something. You can go ahead and close that up for your convenience. I wanna go ahead and just retouch on our flooring. So what comes standard in our bedroom is actually gonna be carpet. But if you go ahead and choose our um, tile flooring instead, and you have the option to extend it into the bedroom as well, which this coach does have. Again, you're gonna have your full walled slide on this side. In the full walled slide, you are gonna have carpet. And then over here, across from your bed, you're gonna have a nice hanging ward with LED lights. You're gonna have um, a 110V outlet up top. You're gonna have plenty of drawer space underneath. Those open up. Some more on the bottom. And then you're gonna have your egress window. You're gonna have a 32 inch Samsung TV to enjoy. Your bedroom partial slide, um, slide out button's gonna be right here on the wall, along with some ceiling lights. Turn those back on, and then you're gonna have your wall board as well. As I pointed out outside, you're gonna have this massive bedroom window. This is really pretty, it brings in all the views, and it's just really nice for some natural light, especially if you're waking up to the sun in the morning. You're gonna have a queen size bed. So you're gonna see that our decor package isn't <coughs> fully made out. That's because this is gonna be shipped down to one of our dealers. We like to keep those things intact and clean for our retail customers. You're gonna have ample storage above your bed here. And the reason I wanna go ahead and point this out along from the storage is gonna be your 110V outlets along with a tube right here to funnel any wirings through. So let's say you have maybe some sleep apnea, you can go ahead and put a machine up here and just wire that through and you can put your mask on very nice and easily. Underneath your overhead cabinets, you're gonna have reading lights. They're gonna be two different switches. So if your partner wants to continue reading and you wanna go to sleep, you can shut yours off and he or she can keep that on. You're gonna have a really pretty headboard in the back along with your wall board. You're gonna have your valances along with two windows on each side that open up. And then on the side of the bed here, you're gonna have a 110 outlet along with two USB outlets. Thank you for coming along and exploring our 2022 Base Star 3014 with me. This is our number one best selling floor plan amongst our Base Star brand here at Newmar. And that's for good reason. It's gonna be made for our families. It's gonna be made for part-time RVers who haven't made that full-time transition yet. And it's also gonna be great for anyone that is a first-time RV buyer. All due in part to the storage and ample sleeping space. As we saw, you have the sleeper booth dinette. You're gonna have the sleeper sofa along with the queen master bed in the back. And then with that, you're also gonna have a 30 foot coach, which doesn't hinder you on the road. It's gonna be great for any routes that you might take. And it's also gonna be good because that gives you access into our national parks. Some of our longer coaches don't have access to that. And that's probably a big reason why people go out. They wanna see what America has to offer and they wanna get a little away from home, right? I know I would. If you have any questions about our Base Star 3014 or any of our Numar brands, don't hesitate to give us a call here at Numar Sales, Service, or one of our dealers across the country. As always, I'm Megan Stouter, and I'll see you next time.